Science shows that those plastic bag bands we love so much may be doing the environment more harm than good. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that brings you the real facts behind popular myths. We all love our bans on the single-use plastic shopping bags. Banning them reduces litter, and it also saves us having to make so much plastic. And making plastic requires oil. That's all great, right? Wrong. We've been testing these bands all around the world for a long time now, and it turns out that almost everything we hoped to accomplish either backfired or was never a real problem to begin with. Myth number one, plastic carryout bags contribute to ocean plastics. Turns out this is only the case in China and other developing nations where they mismanage up to 76% of their trash, meaning it ends up as litter. But in the United States, we mismanage less than 2% of our trash. It is ugly when we see it in population centers, but our rivers and environment are among the cleanest of populated areas in the world. Less than 1% of ocean plastic comes from the United States, and our plastic bags are less than 1% of that. Now, there are problems with consumer behavior in the United States, but plastic bags just aren't very high on that list. They're just visible and easy to make laws about. But they're not really accomplishing anything except making people feel good. Myth number two, bans decrease the amount of disposable plastic leaving the supermarket. Now, this is actually true, but it's only by the slimmest of margins. It turns out that a lot of plastic bags get reused around the house. And when we no longer get them free at checkout, we end up buying the ones we need. We found that where bans have been put in place, sales of eight gallon bags went up 64%, and sales of four gallon bags more than doubled, rising by 120%. And moreover, the ones we buy are a lot heavier and contain a lot more plastic than the free ones. Myth number three, plastic bags are worse for the environment than other options there are other options. Paper bags, durable reusable plastic bags, and reusable cotton bags. So we look at the overall life cycle of all these products covering sourcing of the raw materials, manufacturing costs and impacts, use phase, and then the end of life, which might mean recycling costs or landfill costs or even incineration. Turns out the single-use plastic bag has by far the smallest carbon footprint. Paper bags are four times worse, Durable plastics, 14 times worse. And studies show almost nobody reuses them 14 times. Cotton bags are 173 times worse. And again, studies found that almost none of them actually last and are kept for 173 supermarket trips. So, the bottom line. If bans are so bad, what should we do? Economists already have the answer. Number one, keep the flimsy single-use bags available, as before but charge a small fee for them, like 10 cents, to encourage people to keep their durable reusables around longer. Number two, stop offering the cotton reusable bags. Just stop. And number three, continue development of plastics based on lower impact petrochemical alternatives. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.